What's up, everybody? We are back. John Della Rose here, DellaRose.com. That's D E L A R R O Z.com. And we are here today with some Ditko's shorts. These are his one, two, and three pagers. Now, a lot, this is uh, his short, short shorts. Most Ditko stuff is short in general. He likes doing like six to eight pagers or 10 pagers. And he does that across his career. Uh, but this is just like boom, 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 boom. Uh, one and done. They're quick. Uh, most of this stuff is reprinted in the Fantagraphics collections. So I've seen some of this stuff before. Uh, some of it doesn't actually get reprinted, like uh, like this Starlight and Star Bright um, was from 1967. So that's something that uh, you wouldn't have wouldn't have seen otherwise. But the Fantagraphics collections go up through early 1959. So anything in this volume after 1959 was uh, not collected in those. So we get some cool Ditko dinosaurs. You can just see his standard style across the standard storytelling, the pained eyes, it's all here. And they're just great. Um, I actually really enjoyed these little one, two, and three pagers because I, I thought the, the pacing on them was just quick and good. Sometimes the Charlton work because they had different writers gets very verbose and kind of bogs down, uh, especially compared if you compare Ditko uh, and Stan Lee the in the masters of suspense volumes to that charlton work the charlton work is definitely not as polished on the writing side as stanley's dialogue was but when you get into these uh little short vignettes here uh you don't really have that problem as much so it, it just it, the pace goes along really good really i i really enjoyed seeing this um i don't i don't remember seeing this stuff in the fanographic stuff it might be in there but uh it's a it's called Rocky Lane's Blackjack, and Blackjack's a horse. Uh, artists notoriously don't like drawing horses because they're very hard to draw, and as you see, Ditko does a pretty superb job of that right here, and this is the main horse character. And there's a couple stories of this horse in here, and it's just like a very uh, awesome horse. And we get some Mysterious Traveler. This is one of the characters Ditko's most known for in the 50s. I've seen that printed before. And really nice. Uh, I highly recommend this volume for anybody who is into Ditko's art. And it gets into the conga stuff here. Now, uh, Craig Yoey, who did this volume here, uh, also did a conga and gorgo uh, monsters collection, but they didn't actually reprint the uh, short backup stories in that Congo, conga sorry, uh, collection. So you get to read those here uh, to kind of complete that, which is which is really nice, especially if you want to read everything from that era. And after those are done, there's there's actually a bunch. Uh, there's a backup from Captain Adam, uh, which was not reprinted in the DC Charlton Archives collection of Captain Adam and, and the heroes there. So this is something that uh, is not reprinted elsewhere, to my knowledge. And then we get into the, anything in, like in the late 60s, like there's not a lot of reprints of this stuff. So uh, it's really, really cool to get those extra stories that you might not have seen before. So uh, page count is 104 and you can, or 100, is that right? I don't want to miss, 108, 108 pages and $24.99 is the cover price. Um, this, this is a pretty old book. Uh, you can find it pretty cheaply on Amazon right now though, as of the making of this video. So well worth it. It is uh, a little bigger than standard comic size hardcover. And uh, I definitely recommend this uh, for people. I'd say like definitely like a 9 out of 10 good stuff. All right. Hit that like and subscribe button. We will be back soon.